how do we balance acknowledging their feelings and affect in the lessons with the time constraint that teachers have? Yes, uh, time constraint is always there in the classroom. I've been a teacher before, so I fully understand uh, that. I mean, it, you don't have to do it for every lesson, okay? You find that the moment when you, the, after the first few lessons, right, when you have built a rapport with the students, right, you find that all these kind of negative effects and all these things will, will be less, right? Usually you only start in the beginning where you have to do a lot of uh, rationalizing, you have to you know, do some of this management and, and things like that. But you find that sometimes it's, it, it may only occur once, you know, uh, in the whole year. The, the, the student just, you know, get frustrated and then just bang the table and so on, you know. Yeah, it may just happen once. And it de depends on how you manage the situation. The rest of the student will learn, right, that they should not be doing that, right? Although the teacher didn't punish uh, that person, the teacher explained to the person and all this, but other students will learn. So, so I, I had the experience before, but it's only like once or twice in my whole uh, teaching right, uh, life. So sometimes it's, you know that some of this bad behavior or negative uh, or expression will, will, will show up, but we just become, right? I mean, it doesn't mean that once a student got bad behavior, then you show that you are the teacher, you know, you got to power over them or punish them for, for, for that behavior. So we acknowledge that, you know, sometimes can be, the students are facing a lot of frustration because they don't know how to, to get to the answer or, or they don't know, you know, the, the solution. And they are angry with themselves, not, not angry with you as a teacher. So we accept that, right? And we try to make use of that moment to, to teach them how they can actually manage their emotions.